Hi, I'm Dr. Prathana Ghosh, and today I'm going to talk about uh, drawing shear force and bending moment diagrams by using graphical method. So what is our lesson objective today? To evaluate the shear force and bending moment diagrams for systems with different types of discrete loads and also to estimate uh, basically engineering estimate of those quantities. So to do so, we need to go through some theory uh, for estimation of shear force and the bending moment at different points in the beam or frame. So let's talk about first our uh, basically the sign convention. So what is the sign convention? So we know that whenever you have distributed loadings or any concentrated loadings, if they're acting upward, they're positive. If they're acting downward, they're negative. Similarly, how do you consider shear force sign convention? A positive internal shear force will cause a clockwise rotation of the beam segment, whereas a negative internal shear force will cause counterclockwise rotation of the beam segment. Similarly, bending moment, how do we judge sign convention? A positive internal moment causes compression in the top fibers of the segment. So basically, it is trying to lift it up. So let's see the picture to make it more clear. So here is the picture. Demonstration of positive internal force, shear force, and bending moment. So let's see it very, very carefully. So what you are observing? You are observing that the first picture is for internal forces. So internal forces for basically normal force. So if the normal force is stretching, which is basically tension, it is positive. If it is compression, then it is negative. The second one, we are talking about the shear force. As you see, the beam segment is rotating clockwise in case of positive shear. It could happen from left side or right side. If it rotates clockwise, then it is positive shear force. Whereas for bending moment, the third one, what you are observing, if it is trying to lift it up, making concave upward, then it is positive, which we sometimes call a smiley face. And if it is basically concave down, making it downward direction, then we call a sad face that will be negative bending moment. So what is the procedure for drawing shear force bending moment diagram by using graphical method? So first step will be, determine the support reaction in the beam. What about the support reactions we are having based on different support condition? Then specify the beam section origin left end to the beam of each discrete load. It could be force or moment, whatever pattern it follows. So in the example we are having, if you see, we are having a simply supported beam, as you see in the uh, below, we are having pin at A, roller at D. We have one external concentrated moment, two kilonewton meter, at point B and at C, we are having downward distributed load. So what you need to do, first you find out the support reaction as it mentioned. Second step will be basically um, create the origin. We know origin will be at A and all forces and moment will move forward direction as the positive. So we need to make sure that V, M, and N are shown acting in the positive sense as we talked about. We also need to make sure we are summing it up forces vertically to determine the V in each segment. So how many segments are there? We have A, B, B, C, and C, D. So each point, we are trying to get our shear and moment values. So if we recall the theory from statics, we know that slope of the shear diagram, dV over dx, is equal to distributed load intensity at each point. So if we integrate, then you can get on the right side, as you see, change in shear is area under the loading curve. What kind of loading? Distributed loading. Similarly, slope of the moment diagram is equal to shear at each point. If you integrate that part, we are getting delta m, which is basically change in moment is equal to area under the shear diagram, as you see in the equation. So two major outcome, change in shear, area under the loading curve, change in moment, area under the shear graph. That's what the theory we are going to follow when you solve this example problem step by step. So let's start doing this example problem in Microsoft OneNote step by step. So I'm going to unshare uh, this PowerPoint and then I'm going to share the Microsoft OneNote so to solve the problem. 
So let's start step by step. So we are having simply supported beam. Beam, one side, other side roller. We have internal two points B and C. Each segment is two meter long. So we have at C one concentrated downward load as we talked about four kilonewton. And at B, we are having external moment, two kilonewton meter, which is trying to lift upward, internal moment, concave upward. So, so our first step will be, we need to find out, draw the shear force, bending moment, diagram by using graphical method. So first step, find out the reaction. So we know AX is going to be zero. There is no other force in the horizontal direction. And we are not worried about AX because we are going to draw shear and moment which is basically happen only due to the vertical load. So AY and DY. So let's take the moment about D to find out our AY. So what you are having? AY times six clockwise moment. Two kilonewton meter clockwise negative and four times two counterclockwise positive. So from there, we got our EY is one kilometer upward. So your DY will be basically three kilonewton summation of F Y zero. AY plus DY minus four is going to be zero. So dy is three kilonewton. So once we have the reaction, now the next step will be start from the origin. So our origin will be at A. So your shear at that point is basically the reaction VA is equal to AY, one kilonewton. Then we'll move to the next point, VB which is two meter. So VB minus VA, change in shear, the theory, which is, what is that? Area under distributed load. There is no distributed load in between the points. So that means basically it is zero, the right side. So VB minus VB two meter will be equal to VA. This is zero, which is one kilonewton. So it continues with one kilonewton. Then it goes to VC four meter. We're writing four meter minus and four meter plus. Why? Because at the same point, if you see at C, when it reaches four meter, we have one share at the same point, another four kilonewton is pushing downward. So there is a change in shear values at the same point. So that's why writing negative and positive. So VC4 minus minus VB is equal to area under loading. Again, there is no distributed load in between the points. So that is zero. So VC4 minus is equal to VB, which is one kilonewton. Then at the same point, we are having VC four meter plus, just right, differentiate at the same point. We are going to have one, another four down. So negative three kilonewton.
Then comes the next point, VD. Six meter minus VC four meter plus. So what you are going to have basically again area under loading. I'm just writing which is again going to be zero. There is no distributed load all throughout the beam. So VD six meter will be you see four meter plus which is three kilonewton negative so shear is done so let's draw the shear diagram it is very important to draw for shear diagram and from there we'll estimate the bending moment as we know the next theory is change in moment is equal to area under the shear diagram so let's draw the our shear diagram step by step A, B, C, D. So it starts with one kilonewton. To B, it is one kilonewton. Up to C is one kilonewton. Again, at point C, it becomes negative three. So it crosses the axis and becomes negative three. Then it continues and then you close the loop. So one kilonewton up to point B is one kilonewton up to point c is one kilonewton and again it changes to negative three kilonewton and negative three kilonewton each segment has span of two meter so now we know the shear diagram we'll estimate the bending moment from there so we know that ma is going to be zero because it is external pin no moment is there it can rotate so no moment will develop then you go to the point b mb minus ma the change in moment is area under shear diagram So up to point B, base is two, height is one rectangular. So MB will be equal to MA, which is zero, one times two kilonewton meter. So MB will be two kilonewton meter. Good enough, this is zero. Then MC. MC, actually MB we need to work on, we called as MB two meter minus, then MB two meter plus, why? The reason is at the same point, you have another moment at B, which is trying to lift it up two kilonewton meter. So two kilonewton meter plus another two kilonewton meter, which is going to give you four kilonewton meter. So at same point, moment is changing at point B, as you can imagine. First, it is happening area under the shear diagram. Then at the same point, we are having an external moment two kilonewton meter, as you see in the figure. Again, going through the actual problem, two kilonewton meter, lifting it up. So two plus two, four kilonewton meter. Then we are having MC, which is MC four meter minus mb two meter plus area under the shear diagram again so mc four meter will be mb two meter plus which is four kilometer meter and then again area under shear diagram if you see very carefully C to B, again, base is two, height is one. So another two kilonewton meter added, area of the rectangle. So four plus two kilonewton meter. 
सिक्स किलो न्यूटन मीटर The last one is your MD minus MC four meter, which is basically area under shear diagram. So if you see very carefully the picture again, what do you see? Now this time it is negative because. Three kilo is going downward. So what is the area? Negative three times two, negative six. So we had MD will be equal to MC four meter, which is positive six kilo newton meter, plus negative three times two kilo newton meter. So positive six and negative six, it becomes zero. So we got. Estimate of moment at each point, so we can draw the diagram right now. So let's draw the diagram. A, B, C, D. It starts with zero external pin, then it becomes positive two, then it becomes same point. It moves up to positive four, then it becomes positive six. All straight line, and then it goes back to zero at point D. So two kilonewton meter, four kilonewton meter, six kilonewton meter, and then it becomes zero, zero here, zero here. So that's your bending moment diagram. So this is your bending moment diagram. The other one is your shear diagram, all are linear, as you can imagine. So let me unshare this Microsoft OneNote and go back to our PowerPoint. So we did this example problem. Now we have your practice quiz problem. Here is the practice quiz problem. We have again simply supported beam to segment. And now this time we are having distributed loading in between the point A and B, which is 20 kN per meter. And first segment is 6 meter, next segment is 3 meter. So I hope this video is enjoyable and you can easily apply to solve shear force bending moment diagram by using graphical method.